What up? What up? And more what up? God bless you all. God loves you all. The Christ King is real. Heaven and hell is real. Angels are real. They're all real. Now, that being said, is the NBA real? What is real? How do you define real? Are we really seeing the best efforts out of these teams? Are you getting your money's worth? Do you really think that the Rockets are a better team than Golden State? Do you really think all these injuries are real? These injuries that just come out of nowhere and all of a sudden decide a game. Some of you were asking me about CP3's injury and saying that it was a hamstring injury and then saying that he's questionable for game seven. And the last time I checked, as an athlete, you don't get a hamstring injury and then show up at a game and play within two, three days. Hamstrings just don't work like that. Especially if you fall wrong and you bruise it. It just, that's just not the way it goes. Do I think it's real? I didn't see the injury. But, it was a significant enough story to get the crowd to easily digest the simple fact that because he's not there, then the Warriors can, can beat them. Listen, people. The Warriors can beat the Rockets whenever they want to with CP3 there. <laughs> okay? Let's, let's just drink that in. All right? You guys know it. We know it. They're the best backcourt shooting uh, team in history. There is no team uh, here within the, the East and West that can beat them. That's just the hat. But nonetheless, they need to make a show of it. So what is real? How do we define real? Are we in a matrix? <laughs> because we know what we're seeing is not real. Listen, if CP3 comes back and plays in game seven, which is tomorrow, then the Rockets are going to win. The Rockets are going to win anyway. And let me go ahead and preface this for some of you new people to my channel and some of you skepticals who are already on my channel. The Rockets are going to win. A lot of you people are asking me how the Rockets are going to win. The Rockets are going to win. And that's just that. Why? Because they have to. Because the NBA is fixed. And the Rockets are not going to lose tomorrow. Okay? So let's get into this. Okay, so the game, I did not watch the game. I do not watch the games at all. Except for the replays like this. Because you guys want me to. So uh, let's go through... What was scored in each quarter? First quarter, Rockets 39 points, Golden State 22. Rockets in the second quarter, 22, Golden State 29. A Rockets 16 in the third quarter, Golden State 33. Rockets uh, scored nine points in the fourth quarter. Nine points. Nine points. The, Rock, the, the Golden State scored 
31 points. Do you guys see a trend here? You see how it flip-flopped? You see how it just flip-flopped? Look, when I was, if you guys go check out my live when this game was going on. Everybody was talking about how the Rockets were going to win and it's over for Golden State. And I was just like, no, they're not. They're going to lose. Because they have to lose. And there, I, I, Look, I turned the game off at halftime. Well, I wasn't even watching the game, but I, I stopped going live at halftime. And it was like 61 or something. I was like, well, Warriors got this game. I woke up, looked at the score, 115 to 86. Not even close. It's fixed. I already knew the Warriors were going to win. It's not. You guys, you know why I don't watch it? Because it's not entertaining when you know it's going to happen. That's just the truth. All right, so let's go through the rigmarole here. and Let's see who did what and when. Ariza, 39 minutes, 4 rebounds, 0 assists, 14 points. Tucker, 37, 8, 2, and 6 points. Uh, Capella, 29, 15, 1, and 2 points. Harden, 47, 9, and 32 points. Gordon, 34, 2, 0, and 19 points. Green. 26 0 0 and 11 points. Uh, Luck 14 1 0 0. Johnson 8 0 0. 2 points. Anderson 7 0 0 0. Jackson 4 1 1 and 0. Now I'm betting, and I haven't even looked at this yet, but I'm going to just make a friendly bet that when I, when, when I go and look, and I can't show you guys the videos because of copyright reasons. There are videos being played of it all over the place. You guys can go there. So I click through and I look at the place. But I'm betting that they started off with a man-to-man -man defense. The Rockets started off with a man-to-man -man defense all the way up until the halftime. Then they played a zone defense. And vice versa. So let's look at this. Because I could be wrong. But I highly doubt it. So we're going to go into the jump ball here. Now this is the, this is two minutes in. Doesn't say what quarter it is. I want to go and try to, okay, so it's the first quarter, right? And like I said, I'm sorry I can't show you guys the videos. And this is kind of boring, but it does have its purpose because it helps me to enlighten you on what you're seeing. The first quarter, like I said, the Rockets are going to play a man-to-man -man defense and they're going to play a zone defense in the third and the fourth quarter. So the first quarter and vice versa. This right here is a zone defense. It looks like a man defense, but it's not. It's a zone defense. You know why? Because none of these players are hand checking any of the other players. None of them are in their face. None of them. This guy is playing off of one of the, uh, the best shooters in the game. This guy, it, James Harden, is looking to be MVP. And you're playing off of the guy who's looking to be MVP by at least, what, three feet. This tells me that they want this team to score. That's just the way it is, guys. This will all change as I go down the line. James Harden and company will play a loose man or a zone defense. I haven't looked at this yet. I'm just telling you what's going to happen because I already know. They're just some things that I already know. Did Harden make the shot? Bam. Harden makes the shot. No surprise there. The guy's up for MVP, just like LeBron James is up for MVP. So no shocker there. Right? All right. What did I what did I tell you? Alright, so. 
Let's go here. Here's a third quarter. Here's man here. Here's man here. This guy should be up on a guy. This is a zone defense. This is a zone defense in motion. Wait a minute. Let me see something. Well, he hand checked him. I'm sorry, that's not his own defense. That's a man defense, but that's a loose man defense. And I know it's not his own defense because number eight is following this guy right here. If he wasn't, he would have stayed put. So I corrected myself on that, but I did say it's either going to be a loose man defense or his own defense. If it was a tight man defense, it would look different. Harden wouldn't be standing in the paint. He wouldn't be standing in the paint without somebody there on him. So I told you it's going to be one of the two. It's either a loose man or his own defense. And when you see that kind of defense, you already know the best backcourt shooting team ever is going to make some shots. You got to get right up on these guys, get in their way, get in their lane, put your hands up in their face. You can't play off of them. You can't. Steph Curry is way too quick for that. Everybody on their team is a, is a dynamite shooter. <clears throat> Clay is a dynamite shooter. Okay? You just can't. All right. So let's look at their defense. This is the third quarter. Let's see what it... Okay, this is being hand-checked right here. That's a hand-check he just did right here. This is fundamental basketball. This is a man. This is man. This is man. This is man. This is a loose man. It should be tighter than this. This guy should not be able to roam without being set upon by uh, his player, which is Green. But Green thinks Harden's going to come down through the hole. That does make a difference. But I know it's not his own because this guy would start collapsing in if Harden's coming, coming into the paint. So you see it like, boom, he stays put. That's a man defense. Harden shoots his shot. Whack. That was good defense, though. That was good stay-at-home defense. Just to, just to show you guys this one more game. With this defense right here, Harden has the option as the point guard. As a point guard, he's going to get some separation on Curry. But... The defense thinks he's going to drive in the lane. This is hand. Uh, 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 the defense thinks he's going to drive in the lane. So this guy over here is looking for the ball. He's trying to create uh, some type of space so he can get the ball. All eyes on James Harden. This is good. This is great defense, actually. If any of these guys break, they're going to get a man to break with them. But Harton gets some separation from Curry and pulls up on it. That's a step back move. Everybody knows it. Everybody knows Harton can do it, and he does it even to the best. It is what it is. That is hard to stop. But it was some good defense still on Steph Curry. This is some fundamentals here. His body is fully extended, and his body is fully extended. I believe he really tried to play defense on this play. It's the third quarter. Boom. He just couldn't get it. Look at the arc on that ball. That's just a good shot. It's hard to beat somebody on a step back if they're quick. It's just hard to beat them. It's just hard to beat them. Let's see the action on this play right here. Once he gets the ball, he's going to pull up. It is what it is. 
There's a pull up. He's walk. He's gonna start walking away before the ball even goes in. This. Let me see here. Look at this pull up. Oh, okay, it got defended. Good stuff. It got defended. This is green, right? This is green on Harden. Is that Harden, I think? So this ball gets defended. Boom, it got defended. No foul. Good stuff. See, good defense. There's a man defense. <laughs> This is good defense. Man, man, good defense. You can just tell the difference. You can tell the difference. And I've never seen so many people fall playing basketball in my life than I have in the NBA. I've never seen so many people slide in my home plate backwards. Clay with the pull up. Nobody there, at least six feet out. Nobody's home. Not even possible. Look at that shot. That's the fourth quarter, people. You can always tell the difference. You can always tell who's going to do what. Now, this is actually a man defense. It's a loose man defense because nobody's hand checking anyone. So just like I said, when they start hand checking, everyone, when everyone's being hand checked, that is a tight man defense. But when you have a loose man defense, people can just score easily. This player should be in front of him. This player should be in front of him. He should have his hand on it, on his side in front of him, blocking his lane. He should be able to pivot his right foot, turn around, and step right in Steph, Steph Curry's lane. That's just how you play. This player's hand should be up on the outside of this player here. If he closes in the lane, pivot, turn around, boom, get into his lane. It's It just... I'm not a better player than these guys, but I know fundamentals when I see it. He got some separation on him. He's going to close in the lane. Okay, like I said, this player should be able to pivot. Turn around. Steph Curry's going to come in the lane here. Boom. That's what he should have done. That's what he should have done. But here's the problem with this play defensively. Defensively. For one, when Steph Curry gets past number seven, this is a man defense. This is a loose man defense. If you're going to play a loose man defense, this player on this player, right? Looking for the kick out so he can hit a 17-footer, right? Looking for the kick out from Steph Curry, right? This player here, though, has his eyes on Steph Curry. When Steph Curry goes to the lane, what should this player do? Should he a stick with his? Uh, you're in a loose. You're in a loose man, almost his own. So it's not like you're way out here, twenty feet out from the basket, watching this play. You're parallel to this player. Your immediate reaction: when Steph Curry goes once he goes in the lane is boom, try to block the lane. If that's just how you play. Boom, boom, try to block the lane. This player should be coming in trying to block the lane. It's just what I was taught. This reaction was excellent, even though Steph could have went for the kick out, uh, could have went for, for the Magic Johnson disc right here, got the assist, but he didn't. He went towards the hoop and gets a point. Just some stuff, guys. Just some fundamentals that you see that are not being used 
in the NBA, and you can start telling who's going to do what when you start seeing certain things. But anyways, so I digress, but I knew that uh, the Rockets were going to lose. And I know they're going to win the next game. <sighs> Talk to you guys later. God loves you.